Hi, this is Donna, and today's beautiful adventure brings us to Tainan, Taiwan. It is located at the southernmost part of Taiwan and considered as the Asian capital. And throughout the day, we will be visiting beautiful sceneries in Taichung National Park. We will also be visiting the two marine cetacean rescue and research centers to learn more about the marine cetacean conservation program in Taiwan. Oh, I just can't wait to go there. Me too. So what are you waiting for? Let's go! Taijiang National Park is the only national park in Taiwan that possesses enriched characteristics of cultural history, ecological conservation, and economic industry. Taijiang's diverse flora and fauna, stunning lagoons and wetlands, historical significance, and cultural beauty is a testament of the daily life of Taiwan to the rest of the world. We are now entering the Taijiang National Park's headquarters facility in the Sikau area. As Taiwan's youngest national park established in 2009, Taichang National Park is composed of a patchwork of coastal lands and waters. It is a critical marine habitat that houses a wide range of crustaceans, fishes, mammals, and bird species such as the most famous black-faced poonbill. Here, we are going to ride a large motorized raft to go to the bird watching deck, the little Amazon, and to the famous raft cabin boat. The oyster industry is another important component of Taijan's economy, and oysters are cultivated throughout the river channels and lagoons. No feed is required at all, and the oysters produced are rich in glycogen and protein. With their high nutritional content, oysters have long been an essential food source in coastal areas. We are heading to the bird watching deck. Welcome to the bird watching deck. This is a shelter for bird enthusiasts to view rare species of birds in Taichung. The deck has a shade, a telescope, and an educational materials to raise awareness to the visitors. Taichung provides abundant food and protective shelter to numerous migratory birds in East Asia. Every fall, many tens of thousands of migratory birds pass through here on their way south to warmer climate before returning north in the spring. And then, with our motorized raft, we went to the mangrove green tunnel, also known as the Little Amazon, where over half a century old mangrove trees can be found. Several species of mangroves, such as Rhizophora mucronata, Lumnitzera racimosa, and Avicennia marina, thrive in this area. It is home to a lot of birds, crustaceans, and fishes. here at the iconic fisherman's raft, having to experience pulling out a fishing net. This is the, usually the house of the fisherman. Yes. Yeah.
Okay, so this is our tour guide, Miss Angela. Thank Hi, you. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, bye Thank bye. You. bye, -bye. <laughs> It was a great learning experience indeed. The Liukong Ranger Station is located in the Chigo District, so named because of the six drainage holes. Welcome to the Cetacean Rescue Center. So this is a very old rescue center but is it's currently redeveloped but it's under construction and it's not, it's not yet done. So this is the first um, tank the dolphins or the cetacean will arrive and then it will pass that area going to this to this tank, tank for recovery. Okay. Welcome to Cetacean Research Center! Yay! The Marine Biology and Cetacean Research Center at the National Chengkung University was established in 2010. Its mission is to provide rescue, medical care, recovery, rehabilitation, release, and further research on the stranded dolphins and whales. The primary goal is always to release the stranded dolphin or whale after integral rescuing, medication, rehabilitation, and recovery.